Alright guys, welcome to your 59th video and in this video we are finally going to start running Bucky Instant Messenger, the greatest Java Instant Messenger ever created. So the first thing we need to do is we need to run the server program because go ahead and run server test.java and once you do this, this is the program that sits on your server and it waits for someone to connect to it. So as you can see right now, if you try to type something in the text box, it won't let you because we disabled that functionality. But what it does say is waiting for someone to connect. So again, I want to recap one more time. What we did is we're running this program and I'm running it on my computer just so you know you guys on YouTube can see. But typically this is the program that's going to sit on a public server and wait for people to connect to it. So let's go ahead and with that being said, let's hop over to clienttest.java and run this program, which is an entirely different program. So now you can see a bunch of things changed, but guys, this program right here, client mofo, is the program that's going to sit on the client's computer. So even though you guys are watching this on YouTube and you see um, pretty much two different windows and it looks like the same program these are actually two completely different programs you run this one on the server and you run this one on the client and once they're both running both programs are set up where they can successfully have a you know conversation with each other so let me go ahead and show you guys that right now so the server whenever the server sends a message it says server and then it sends their message so now the client whenever you connect to the server it would be like hey man what's up and it says client said hey man what's up and now the server would be like not much bro you and send that and now on both of their screens it says not much bro you and then the client would be like um where are you from hit enter it says where are you from and then you know the server would be like Vienna dot 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 sausage even though that doesn't make sense, you know, maybe the server said that, who knows. So as you can see, two people can now have a conversation with each other using Java Bucky Instant Messenger. Pretty freaking cool. Now whenever anyone wants to end the conversation, for example the client, all they have to type is capital E-N-D. Hit enter and both of these windows say closing connections waiting for someone to connect that's what it's gonna say on the server side and the client is gonna say closing crap down they can now exit and the server if you try typing something since you're not connected to anyone you can't so remember that functionality that we added right here that says run this loop or have a conversation while message is not equal to server end or client end that's why whenever you wrote end then it closed the program because it broke out of the loop now remember we already um, closed out of the uh, client side program but whenever another client joins watch this you can't type anything if you have your server right now but whenever you open client test again and another client joins then it says now connected to localhost 127.0.1 and this client is connected as well now you can type things again like wow I can finally type again how awesome is that and the client can say hey I'm new bro sup or something stupid like that but anyways guys like I said probably the coolest program that I made yet an instant messenger program completely made in Java where you can have it on two different computers and they can connect using streams and sockets and have an actual instant messaging conversation with each other. So don't forget, whenever you would put this on an actual server, again, you typically wouldn't run this on the same computer, this would be on either a dedicated server or a virtual private server. and you would need to take note of the IP address and the port number so whenever you were programming the client side of this program then you would know what to input right here and also the port number which goes right here so those are the only two things that you guys need to change whenever you add this to your own server and guys one last time if you have any questions about anything on the instant messenger or you want any of the source code for free go to my forum tnbforum.com and you can ask your questions or get all the source code for free there so one last time thank you guys for watching 
don't forget to subscribe and in the upcoming videos what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do is take this networking even further and show you guys how to develop games that you and another person that live in an entirely different state or country can play the same games together and MMO it's going to be awesome so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later